Welcome back to automation where today we're not building a drift bus But today we are building our first automation police car How hard could it be to build the world's fastest police car? What should we start off with? Obviously, we've got a lot of options, but I think we should definitely have four doors so we can carry around all of the criminals. I feel like front engine, rear wheel drive, or all wheel drive would be a good call, but I'm not sure. It might not look like the most interesting car, but I guarantee you I could make this look like a cop car for sure. I feel like that's probably a pretty good shout. Twitch chat approved. Let's do it. So we're 2007. We've got four doors. This thing definitely looks like it has some police potential. We've got to keep two things in mind. Obviously, one, I want to be driving super fast. But two, I also got to build something pretty sturdy that we can definitely crash into some people. I mean, maybe carbon fiber actually is the answer because it weighs nothing, but in terms of the safety, it's actually pretty good. The one downside is it's probably gonna be the most expensive police car in the world, right? We, we can sell this thing in Dubai. It's not gonna be a problem. We'll go double wishbone suspension in the front and the rear, crank up the quality to the max, and now we've got to build our engine. I don't even know what size of an engine can fit in here. I could be an 11 liter V10 engine. That is ridiculous. I know Twitch chat is spamming the V8, but I feel like we built enough V8s in this game. And if it's going to Dubai, you got to flex. So V10, it's basically going to be a Lexus LFA police car with four doors. Obviously, we're gonna need to do a bunch of tuning to this thing, but let's go billet steel crank, lightweight titanium con rods, lightweight forged pistons. Oh, we could even go twin turbocharged V10. Maybe we'll keep it naturally aspirated for now though. I'd like to apologize for your ears. It's a straight pipe V10. It's gonna be pretty loud. 1,200 horsepower? I don't even know how I did that. Okay, uh... I guess let's give it a test. Watch out for your ears. I've built a baby Lexus LFA. So now I guess we've got to do some fine tuning and try to get a little bit extra horsepower out of this thing. I've already done it. 1,500 horsepower. And I've literally been clicking basically random buttons. I think that's mission successful. 1,500 horsepower for this? No way. I didn't know this was an option. I could be an Aussie boy. There's even a coupe version. This is the one I'm probably going to use with four doors. The estate version, super cool. That's awesome. As this thing's a cop car, we've got to paint to look like a cop car, so... I'm thinking white for this, right? I feel like this is already looking good. That is an awesome base. And now it's everybody's favorite point of the video where I ruin this car. I feel like this is very modern looking. And plus, if you imagine in real life, right, you could have like cool blue and red flashing lights in there. It might not look that great right now, but when we get some other stuff on, I feel like it'll look better. And with that, we can go to the rear of the vehicle. Okay, I can already tell what type of tail lights. Wait. Wait, wait, do we do this properly? I mean, if we're a cop car, is it really a cop car if it doesn't have Dodge Charger tail light? Let's just ignore how the body line goes straight through the tail light, all right? As I was saying, this is a police car. We need police light. Well, luckily I've got the stuff for the job. Well, they can't say they didn't see me coming. I need like a cop roof deck Thing. My genius even amazes myself sometimes. All right, now we got to just center all of these lights. I am so good at this game. Oh my god. That actually looks so good. Back to the regular fixtures and stuff like this. So I need a big old grill that obviously looks aggressive and lets people know that they shouldn't mess with us. I feel like that's pretty cool looking. Keep in mind, we've obviously got to get a bash bar in front of it, so you won't actually see the grill that much, but I feel like that looks pretty good. In terms of our grills and stuff, like additional grills, I don't think I need any of these. I mean, we can definitely do some pit maneuvers with this thing. It's a little bit glitchy, but that's fine. I feel like this cop car now says, if you run, 
you're stupid. All right, after that, we definitely need a sunroof because uh, us as a police officer, we gotta travel in luxury. And, and then we get to the rear wing. If you thought this car was ruined, uh, just wait. We are the world's fastest police car, so we definitely need a big old rear wing. Maybe something like that. It's a, it's a carbon fiber rear wing. I mean, what more do you really want? I feel like that's actually not bad. Sure, it might look like Forza Arrow, but it's gonna keep us grounded, which is what we want, right? And then after that, we can get all of the other bits of this vehicle just to make it look a little bit more legit. So fuel cap, that actually fits really nicely on there. We also need some wing mirrors. Now, the thing with cop cars, right, is they usually have like a, a, a floodlight or spotlight over their wing mirrors. So maybe I should think about doing that as well. Yeah, maybe let's get some normal wing mirrors. Nothing crazy. Wing mirrors looking good, but I definitely need my spotlight. So let me go with Yes. Yes. That is what I'm talking about. Okay. Those are so cool. I mean, they're a bit janky, but I love them. Okay. We definitely need a number plate on here. The number plate's actually going to tie this vehicle in really, really nicely. So let's go for maybe, maybe something like that. Just a bit smaller. It's not terrible at all. That's actually pretty good. It wouldn't be an AR-12 build without having a stupid exhaust. So yeah. Let's go. The rear's looking so good. I definitely do need some badges, and I actually got some really cool ones where I can put police decals on my vehicle. Look how sick these are. I feel like that's a really, really good looking cop car. We have 1,500 horsepower. It looks as good as this. I, I don't think there's much better than that. Anyways, we finally got to finish up this vehicle. Let's go all-wheel drive for this. I feel like that's going to be good. Six-speed automatic transmission that can go up to 250 miles an hour. Let's also go for some nice sport compound tires. And considering we've got so much, so much horsepower, let's go for some uh, thick boys, 255. Carbon ceramic brakes, the biggest size we can get. We are going to stop in an instant. Last but not least, I can do my ride height. Oh my god. So Twitch chat, now that we've built our car, we need a name for our police car. What should it be? Twitch chat has a pretty good one. Paul... Uh, pa Paul... Lease. The police we will... <laughs> Off to beam NG drive we go with this abomination of a vehicle. What happened to my badges? My badges are yeet. No way. Yo, he's fast. Yo, he's so fast. Yo, this is way faster than a Veyron. Okay, it doesn't slow down. Does not slow down. Okay, it'd be, it'd be good if you didn't lock up all your wheels. We're in sport gearbox in three, two, one, and away we go. And 60. That That's like zero to 60 in less than two seconds. And it can do jumps. Oh, shit. Um, it can do jumps. Oh. Oh, um. Um, uh, so what do we think's faster? A ready-built drag car with wheelie bars, tiny little T-Rex tires, or me rocking a very jank-looking police car? And away we go! Bad launch! Uh, um, um, manual gears! <laughs> Yo! That's unfair. We have raised the stakes. The world's fastest drag racing bus with an American flag and rocket boosters versus a police car. Now, that's not an intimidating noise at all. Oh my God. Zero to one. Bruh. 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 We did like our quarter mile in 7.9 seconds. Cross the line at nearly 200 miles an hour. That is unbelievable how fast that is. I think it's time to pull over some peeps. Get arrested. All right, well, he's dead. Here we go. We've got three peeps.
The Wii Woo is an amazing vehicle. Okay, sorry, sorry. I just destroyed that guy's car and I can still do 150 miles an hour. Someone's about to die. Oh, um, that's gonna be a tough one. Uh oh, um, um, help. Help! The Wii Woo is a goddamn tank! <laughs>